Hey dudes, um, I'm Liv, if you are new here from Liv Style Rewind. This is where I talk about things of any kind, um, primarily secondhand clothing that I like and thrifting and the 90s, things like that. This is a little bit different. I'm going to try and make this as fast as possible. My partner is less than 20 minutes away and I want to get this video done before he comes barging in here and interrupting me. So, um, let's, let's go. I am doing this as a collab with Becky Park on Poshmark's uh, YouTube reseller group. She has a course that is very useful if you are new to YouTube and um, just kind of making videos and getting your point and message across and, uh, you know, doing it while also reselling. So she, um, is really good at that. And every once in a while, every month, every couple months, she does a collab with whoever wants to do it. Right now I'm doing a, it's supposed to be a thrift. We're thrifting spring 2022 trends, but because I am on a thrifting band set by myself, I uh, was basically thrifting my own death pile, and I cannot believe the amount of things that I found that actually fit the trends that um, were just lying around. So, the lights are making me hot. Let's turn this around and try and make it quick. Okay. So, one of the main trends, one of the big trends is denim. So, I have a couple different denim items. These, um, some of these are listed, a lot of them are not listed yet, a lot of them I haven't even photographed yet, but a few of these are listed in my eBay store, which I will link below, and, um, in the description box, and they probably don't have, uh, measurements in them yet, but they will be added. So these I bought for myself, actually, I got them last summer at a really cute little vintage shop in Detroit called Flamingo Vintage. The owner, I don't know if they co-own it or if it's just the woman, but they were lovely. Her and her partner and um, my boyfriend's band played there last summer and they just had the most amazing shop. And I found these and I thought they would maybe work if I could like squeeze into them. They're a 38 waist. I knew that they probably wouldn't fit me, but I bought them anyway. They were like 20 bucks. So I have them listed for like 35 or 36 on eBay. I'll take lower, but I'm trying to recoup some of my money back. Um, they were already distressed in a really cool way. They're Levi's. It says boot cut, but they're just cut off shorts, 517. And they are a 38 waist. But again, I will provide measurements if you are interested at all. If you are not on eBay, just pay no attention to any of that. Thank you very much. <laughs> if you aren't on eBay... Um, I'm going through some inventory crises. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, just, uh, send me a comment, or send me a comment, write me a comment in, under this video, or, uh, contact me on Instagram, I guess? Yeah, sure. That's what we'll do. Okay. One down. A lot to go. Um, these I also got for myself. They're cutie little short uh overalls gap xl which is awesome there we go there it is good gap for good i don't know what that means um but i got these for myself off poshmark from a really lovely seller janine uh she goes by the blue feather the blue feather not just blue feather on poshmark and um i also got a really cute little like mexican blanket from her that was like pink and teal well minty anyway she's really cool I love her style and these were a little too snug on me I got them probably in the summer of 2019 so it's been almost three years and uh they're still snug on me so I'm gonna sell them and um have someone else actually enjoy them and wear them this summer this goes for the denim trend but also the 90s are still very much alive and well, 90s and Y2K, early 2000s, so I figured why the heck not. Speaking of Y2K, early 2000s, this is a pretty low waist in my opinion, pretty low rise waist, which is very early 2000s, but um, these are kind of fun, they're just 
True Religion. I got them while thrifting last summer in my hometown. Made in USA, size 27. I took pictures of these recently. They're pretty trendy, skinny. I mean, people still love their skinnies, even though other things are coming back. They have a little hole that I just realized when I took pictures. So I did not re I did not notice that in the store. I'll obviously, um, you know, base the price on that. It's not, they're not gonna be worth all that much with that hole in there, but they're still in like excellent condition otherwise. So I'm hoping that'll help me out. Kind of fun pockets. Yes, yes. Um, so yeah. Next up, this is 90s, but also Harley Davidson is very much in right now, apparently. That's what the kids are wearing. Um, <laughs> so I have this men's oversized, well, oversized 2XL uh, button-down shirt that's Harley Davidson. And it has, you know, motorcycles and little logos. And uh, I think it's super fun. And I might put it on Depop. I might try this guy on Depop, actually put something on there. I need to start a Depop because I have fun items. So there's that. Harley trend. Okay, this is a little different. This is kind of cottage core. Also, there's this new thing or this thing called Regency core, which is a little bit more on the like dramatic side. I guess you should think of what they wear in Bridgerton um, as an idea, but I got this for myself off a of big bundle on Poshmark. And I realized I'm not gonna wear this. It's like too, it's too nice and like dainty for me. I'll just, it'll be a bad time. <laughs> and it still has the tags on it. So um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna price it at. Probably maybe like 20 bucks or something. It's really pretty. It's got this lace and this like uh, bib. Sure, that's what we'll call it. The little tie. Um, pussy willow, pussy color, I don't know. And yeah, Lauren Ralph Lauren, knitted rayon cotton, um, but it's really pretty soft. So it's like got a little stretch to it. It's a large and somebody um, that will probably take better care of a light cream item like that should get it. <laughs> okay, so we have more cream. This is kind of 90s, but also, um, you know, it's like the slip dress. It's like a slip, but you could wear a little bralette under it. It's like kind of sheer. I feel like this could be really like rocker, like rocked out with some big combat boots and like a leather jacket or like, um, I don't know. It would be fun to play around with, but it's too small for me. It's, uh, I think it's vintage. So it's got 90s vibes. It's got barely there is also a theme that we're working with right now. You know, early 2000s, the very small tops and the very small skirts and the very small everything. And this, this goes with barely there because you're really basically naked, but it's like kind of tasteful and sexy and I appreciate it. Nordstrom Intimates XL. That doesn't look vintage necessarily, but um, definitely like retro vibes for sure. Okay, this I think I also got off of a bundle on Poshmark. It's Forever 21 Plus 3X. This also fits the 90s, early 2000s theme for me. It's like this beautiful teal color, this like blue gray. It's got the lace. It's very like kind of a slip dress, something you just throw on. Also kind of the barely there sort of theme. When I'm thinking about like what people wore in the early 2000s or the late 90s, I'm like, what did the Spice Girls wear? What did Britney Spears wear? What did Christina Aguilera wear? Uh, Mandy Moore, Jessica Simpson, uh, Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie, all those like it girls. So I feel like uh, Spice Girls would definitely wear this or something. Someone would wear that for sure. I would wear it if it were my size. Got a little zipper in the back. Heck yeah. Okay, this I love. I showed this in a video, one of my first haul videos, but I never listed it. Woo, go me. This is a 4X, I believe. 4X, yeah, it's stretchy. Um, so it's like a mini skirt squirt combo. It's got the hot pink vibes, which is awesome. Pink is very in this season. 
pink and green and like just bright neon colors um purple like any shades of purple and green are super in and then like neon yellow and stuff too so i'm just throwing all these trends at you guys i watched a ton of trend videos and then also um got some tips from people so it's got the shorts underneath love that we love a good large plus size item that is actually cute even though it's only a walmart dan skin now um i think someone will be super into it it's got these little like things on the side i don't know you could tie them i don't know i don't work out i don't know what people do but it does have this little i think there was a little tear so it's got this little thing in the very back, but I didn't even notice it until I took pictures. So again, that will reflect on the price. This will probably sell for no more than like 15 tops, but I love it. This is another one. Got it under the lights to take pictures and I found a ton of little spots and stains. So I have to pre-treat it. But uh, it was in one of my earlier videos. It's Adriana Papel 20 Women's perfect for this season got the bright neon color got this like cut out textured crochet not quite sure what this is called um, if there's a proper name for this lace crochet what is it I'm just gonna keep asking questions on what is lace and what is crochet in all my videos see my last video for more information on what I'm talking about but uh yeah, it's like very faint. It was only when I got it under the lights that I was like, oh no. I'm sorry for the way that I handle this camera. I am not a vlogger, guys. But we'll see how this works out. I'm gonna try and move faster through these. All right. Uh, this was something that my mom got. She was, she went to a wedding years ago and one of the colors was like coral. And so she tried a couple different dresses and didn't really like this one gave it to me to sell so it does have the tag on it it's david's bridal it's um 12 what is it size 12. so it's really a uh, pretty peachy pinky um, pastel is also really in this season any like bright color or like soft color it's weird pretty much anything like colorful is in <laughs> so um, there's also like little bows in the back of that, so that's kind of cute. This I've had forever since I worked at JCPenney, like, one of, back in the day. Um, <clears throat> but it really follows the 70s, also tie-dye, hippie vibes that are very much in right now, especially in the summer. It's got like festival vibes, hippie, it's got like flower child, all the good things. I'll use all the lovely keywords and, um... It'll be very cool. It's still got a tag on it. It's Olsen Boy, which is actually, yes, it's a Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen brand, but it's like, they're like cheaper junior JCPenney brand. I don't know if it was only at JCPenney. I feel like it was maybe at a couple other places, but um, this is a size 13 juniors and it's lined and it's just got like a really fun kind of like high-low bottom and a zipper on the side and I kind of love it but I never wore it <laughs> so I need to get rid of it and have someone I keep saying get rid of get rid of this I love so much I adore it I got it for myself again last summer in my hometown there is an amazing little record store slash kind of a little bit of everything funky store um, in Bay City called uh, Electric Kitsch and it is amazing you should go there if you um, haven't yet and this was a dress there they had some vintage clothing in the back so I had to scour all of those racks I found this I tried it and the arms are way too small for me I have like big arms so <laughs> um, it's not for me but it's got these darling buttons it's to me it's like very 70s kind of like psychedelic flower power you know all the good things green pink and yellow like every color that's in right now <laughs> I don't think there's a size but I would say it's probably about a large um, but again I'll take measurements for it It buttons all the way down and uh, I 
I think I remember there being a couple flaws, just some snags and stuff that happen with vintage items. So, yeah, but nothing major. Some more snags that I see over here. But again, like very hard to notice and it's just so lovely. Another big, big uh, excuse me, trend this season is twee, which is like very like 2007, it's something that I think like what would Zoe Deschanel have worn in 2006 or seven. And uh, that has kind of some Zoe D vibes. So definitely love that. These are, I believe they're vintage, 90s, maybe Y2K. Um, they're a 1X, but they have a really stretchy elastic waist. They have pockets. I got them for myself one day when I was working at a consignment shop because I wanted to put on more comfortable pants. And uh, I wore them a few times and haven't worn them in over a year. So, yeah. Tie-dye, psychedelic, kind of 90s, cropped, loosey-goosey, uh, green and blue, I guess power blue, like this powerful blue, royal blue, is really in right now too. That's what Christina Sherilyn tells me, so I trust her. Speaking of the blue, power blue, we got this romper, jumper thing that I think would be just amazing over a swimsuit on the beach, or just like... I don't know, just throw it on in the summer. What is going on? Why is she doing this? Why is she doing this to us, guys? Okay, we're back. We're all right. We got it. It's Hula Bay. It says medium slash nine, but um, it kind of fit me. It was like a little tight around my tummy, and I'm like a 1X, so there's definitely some room for... A plethora of different sizes but it's very tropical it's got these like leaves and pineapples on it which I love you know novelty prints also very in very 90s to me but just like people love like weird cutesy stuff right now and I'm all for it because I've always loved weird stuff like that um, so also like palm beachy coastal those are all really good things to be on the lookout for right now. This is kind of like a palm leaf print. <clears throat> and this black and cream and uh, this really pretty brown. I got these at a swap, clothing swap. And I got them for myself. They have this stretch in the back. They are seriously gorgeous. Like, the material feels amazing. And uh, they're MNG. Or, no, they aren't. They're Violetta. Violetta by MNG, which MNG is a decent brand. Um, they have, like, a less expensive brand that they sold at JCPenney when I worked there. But it's pretty good quality stuff. And these have never been worn. They're an XL, which is amazing. And uh, I feel like they're worth a decent amount. I haven't looked up comps yet, but very, very excited about those. Again, like, I've had them since last summer, and I've been too scared to wear them because they're so nice. <laughs> so someone else can enjoy them. Um, this pastel, uh, I know this is not what people have in mind when they say palm print is in right now, but I thought this was funny because it's cars and palm trees. So <laughs> I really love pink and blue combo. I think it's adorable together. And uh, this is Lucy and Laurel, size medium. The tag looks kind of like a Urban Outfitters type of tag, so I don't know. But uh, I think it has a couple marks on it that I saw when I got it under the lights. Nothing major, but I think I have to pre-treat that one as well. It's got a little button, peekaboo, in the back. Very, very cute. A-line. Cute, twee, indie, darling. Zoe, all of the things. This is just a plain tank top. Uh, it's this pretty rosy pink color. I got it. Yep. Everything that wants to fall is gonna fall. Got it from my sister. Um, one of the perks of having three older sisters is hand-me-downs. So it's a size one, which is like a 1X, but I feel like it could fit a 2X as well. It's kind of loose. 
I did see, I think I have to pre-treat this one too. She's falling apart. Maybe not, maybe that was just a trick of the light. I'll have to take a closer look at that, but love that. I am just done with it. I don't, I don't pick it much anymore, so. This, I think I got, I think I got in Midland a couple summers ago, or my mom maybe gave it to me. I have no idea. It's Masquerade. It's a Junior 7-8. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's got this textured look, which like black and white is very, very in right now. Just like black and white combo. So, um... Also, now is the season to get all of your like pretty party dresses out, enlisted, and things that people would wear for, you know, weddings and special occasions and things of that nature. Um, so I'm just gonna get that listed and I think it kind of fits the cutesy twee vibes as well. Oh, speaking of that, this I was hoping would work for me, but it's just a little too snug. It is a romper. It's a little like sailor nautical black and cream halter neck darling 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 stripe on the bottom but there's a yellow mark that I noticed once I got it under the lights of course. Gotta do some pre-treating. It's got this little anchor. Oh my god. Amazing. Holy cow. So perfect but it didn't work for me, so it's gonna work for someone else that's gonna love it very, very much. Hell Bunny Vixen, zipper in the back, XL, amazing. Love this so much, tried it on, definitely too tight. <laughs> uh, it's a petite, I don't know why it says petite, it's not very petite, but Liz Claiborne, um, size small, cotton, there's definitely some give to this. It would not only fit size small. I think it could probably fit up to large because it has the elastic waist. It has pockets, you guys. It's black and white. It has suns and moons and squiggles. It's like a 90s kid witchy girl's dream. Like, what the heck? I love it so much. Little romper. Again, it would look amazing on the beach, over a swimsuit, just like throw it on. I love throwing rompers on in the summer. The only bad thing about rompers is when you go to the bathroom in public, you're completely naked and you've never felt more vulnerable than in that moment. But that's okay because it's cute. So it makes up for it. Any Zodiac peeps out there that want this? Heck yes. Also, little spot that I noticed once I got it under the lights. Doing great here, guys. Doing real great. Um, another thing, <laughs> so domino effect, I guess, is like a big thing right now. Not just like black and white, but like with dots and stuff. This is a little bit different, but it's got, it's black with like these pretty yellow polka dots. And it's got this cutesy ruffle. It's like a tunic dress. I showed it in an earlier video. I haven't worn it yet, so I'm going to get rid of it. XL, stretchy nylon, super cute super cute. I think it's just a pull, pull over, slip on. Okay, now this I think kind of fits the domino uh, category because it looks kind of domino-like to me, but also gingham is super in right now. Christina Sherilyn, she told me all about it and uh, I trust her. Look at these big poofy arms, super, super in for spring. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, gingham, black and white, amazing. Not sure about this brand, never heard of it. Peterson with a Y. Um, let me know if you know anything about that. I'll look it up, obviously, but it's got a little built-in bra in there. It looks like it's barely been worn. Are you serious? You guys, what the heck? I need to stop this madness. I'm sorry if you're getting sick. Um, we're almost there. We're in the home stretch. But I love that very much, and I would say it's like a law, medium large, maybe. Again, I will take measurements. Oh, I got this for myself last summer. My mom and I went thrifting, and it was at like a consignment type shop. I love it so much. Plaid is in, especially colorful rainbow pastel plaid, so this is perfect. But it's too tight, 
it doesn't fit in the like relaxed way that I would like to but you guys the best part about this top the best part it's not even like really doing justice there's a lot of like more pink to this than is being shown it's so cute you guys oh my goodness I'm freaking out I wish it would fit but my loss is your gain it's a large but I think it might be juniors large just based on this tag rebellion is that a word rebellion again no clue but you guys this back is just ties it's open and then it has three bows I love it so much I wish it was for me but it's not this I got years ago in Detroit and I was so happy when I found it I've never found Lily Pulitzer before medium it's so cute it's like oh my gosh it's so cute it's like kind of kind of modern but also could be very much like early 2000s in my opinion because I could so see Nicole Richie wearing this in the year 2000 are you kidding the sequins and the beads and the yeah anyway it's like this swing trapeze style that just like super roomy all white all white is very in right now not just because spring but like it's a trend <laughs> so um i had to include this one it uh i think it has a spot on it too somewhere but i don't see it right now so that's cool we got a lulu's all white cute love this back super low zipper very cute perfect for like a bridal shower or something again on that same same realm uh arc and co really weird but i have seen this brand it's just not very well known and not super expensive but um it's all white it has the tie in the back and then this like floral cutesy again indie twee all of the adorable Zoe de Chanel things. How many times is she gonna say Zoe de Chanel in this video? Maybe one more, because I feel like she would totally wear this top, no? <laughs> um, got the poofy sleeves, flower, florals are in always in spring, but especially red florals. So, um, got the puffy sleeves and vintage 70s, maybe 90s, I don't know, 80s. Who knows, guys, but it's cute. And I'm not going to wear it. Button in the back. And the last thing is just this. Ah! Oh, Target brand. A new day. Green stripe. Greens are in. Stripes are in. More like on the wide stripe side. This is a wonderful ending. Oh my gosh. If you're still with me. I adore you. You are. You are everything. Just kidding. But you're so nice and kind. And um, yeah. Keep doing you. So it's got the ruffles, it's got the cutesy, got this for myself, off posh, and uh, I want a looser one. It's an X, which is like an XL, possibly one X, but I would say it's kind of like a 14. Say how I said 14 high like that, because I'm not really sure, but I will put measurements, and I love these big ruffly poofy sleeves. I love green, I love that green is the color. And um, here's some wall art. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.